am now. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to, it's a replacement for video number 32 where I messed it up. I'm going to show you how to fix this bad mesh on this character here. So if you've ever done this, I took a file, an SVG file of a Chinese character, imported it into Blender, and then had Blender create a 3D object uh, of it with uh, bevel, and it created a pretty ugly looking mesh. In particular, I didn't like this mess right here. So I'm going to show you how to take care of that mess right there. <clears throat> so we go into, wait a minute, go into edit mode. We'll go into wireframe with a Z. I have it turned on. Oh, I forgot to turn that on. Let me turn on screen casting. There we go. Yep. All right. It's working. Okay. Again, turn, go into face mode. Grab all of the faces on the top surface and delete them all. Go back into solid view top. And yeah, we got them all. Now we have to go over here. There's a problem over here. Or for some reason or another, I managed to get an extra vert in there. You did dissolve that vert. Now, the whole trick was to just select all the edges with Shift, Alt, Left Click, and do an Alt F fill. And if you remember what it looked like before down here, how ugly that looked. I think it looks much better now. And that was pretty much the end of the te technique, really. I think we're okay. I don't see any problems with it. So the, the, the point of the tip was to don't be, don't accept the results, and use the Alt F to refill this thing, to clean it up. Yeah, cleaned it up quite a bit over here. And I mean a massive change there. Still a little bit of an issue here, but we have so much topology in there that uh, that set curves. I guess you could go and fiddle around with it and delete those faces and draw them into there, but uh, it's not too bad. It's a little small. Anyhow, so that was the point of the previous version. And so I'm going to make a, a side comment here, and that is someone finally commented that my audio was horrible, cutting out and terrible on the previous video. I used to do computer programming maintenance and stuff, and one of the things I noticed was, you know, the guy that wrote the code, he's not the one that uses it, and he would, you know, say, hey, if you've got problems with it, report it. Because if you don't report it, he ain't going to know. So, like, if you got a problem with my video, leave a comment so that I will know that it's messed up. Otherwise, I will probably not know. So, if you want to see more of these videos, it would be nice if you'd subscribe and leave a like. And especially leave a comment if I mess it up. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.